Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. Today is Sunday, August 13th, and we're on our way to go look at a van. We found a possible van, not this one, this one. 2005 Kia Sedona LX, 1500 bucks. It just popped up on Craigslist. It's got a sunroof is what I want. It's got roof racks, which is what I want. It's got some dents, but it's only got 84,000 miles on it. And it says, what da, 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 where does it say? What does it say? 1500 firm. They say firm. I called, they already said they, uh, I already called them and told me they would take 1200 bucks. Needs an AC compressor. They said there's also a rattle in the front of the engine, which is like a heat shield. Not a big deal. Um, I think I'm just gonna pop on it just cause it's so cheap. 1200 bucks. They said their mom drove it all the time. So we're gonna go take a look at it. I feel like that's cheap enough risk. It's about 40 minutes away. Let's do it. You gonna come, mom? No, on our way to Cape Coral. My mom was actually there already today. And we're on our way back there. I feel like for 1200 bucks, I could risk this pretty easily. So I'm not an issue to me. Cool, cool. So was it your mom or her mom's car? Cool. <laughs> she said the AC compressor needs to be fixed, right? Yeah, yeah I just cool. opened up this thing to vent it because I knew you were coming. I'm like, it's gonna get hot in there. <laughs> no leaks or anything underneath? No, no, go right in here. Oh. Cool. I've never had a Kia. I've always had Toyotas. I actually just traded one Kia for another one. Cool, yeah, we'll fire her up. Awesome. And it does have keyless entry? Cool. And that works. Sounds good. It's such a baby. Take it for a spin though. Awesome. Awesome, yeah. Get out of the way, Mom. Take it for a ride, take it for a ride. I think this is it, honestly. It's got a weird noise. Bloody hot in here. But I feel like for 1200 bucks, I can't beat this deal. I think we got a winner. It smells a little bit like cigarettes, but I'm gonna think I'm gonna gut the carpet and air it out and it'll be good. Well, no, I kind of respect somebody that likes to help take care of their mom. He she, bought me that car and yeah, I drove yeah. mine in the morning. Mom's a hand You only get one of them. Family, what am I gonna do? Yeah. You know, it, she drives my wife crazy, but. Uh, I think I do, yeah, it's in there just in okay. case. Awesome, I appreciate cool. it. Anytime. Cool. Take care of it. Glad to get it out of the driveway. Thanks for driving, Mom. We have a van. Everyone was always asking me, when are you gonna get a van? When are you gonna get a van? When are you gonna get a van? And my answer always was, when I found a deal. I really don't know. It's like, when I find a deal, whenever I find a deal, whenever I find a deal. I'm feeling this deal. I mean, I'm not in love with it. I'm not in love with any of the cars, but for $1,200, for $1,200, this thing runs and drives with no issues. The only thing is the AC right now. I'm gonna get that fixed. And 84,000 miles. I need to do something about the smell of smoke. His mom was a smoker. And I can smell the cigarettes on me. I can definitely smell the cigarettes. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling van life coming up real soon, guys. To cut the vlog here, if you haven't already, give this van a thumbs up. Have any encouraging comments? Are you excited for the van adventures in the near future? Let me know. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We're going to start Q&A Tuesdays next week. And I will talk to you guys in the morning. Thanks for hanging out today. We got a van. This is the seventh van I've looked at, but we got a van. Bye. And I'd like to give a special thanks to Tom Knight. He had me on the rabbit trail for a Mercury Villager and I was in the middle of making a deal with one of those cars, which I really like. I think it's a great vehicle. 
and could have been a steal of a deal, but I wasn't getting the price point that I wanted, the communication with the seller and whatnot. But I appreciate the input and I'm definitely gonna look at those vehicles in the future and recommend them to people. And you've increased my knowledge base on vehicles and I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Mr. Tom Knight. John Hardesty's gonna be happy that I got a V6.